I'd like to give uh, one more thanks to Asan uh, and Decision Spot for being able to come up with a really great uh, culminating example for this uh, for this training. So again, uh, thank you so much for all the time and effort that you put in. Uh, so essentially what I'd like to do now is wrap everything up. Uh, and to do so, there's a couple things that I think we uh, I'd like to do. One is let's just do a quick review of the things that we covered and you know sort of hitting on some of the key points and then let's also figure out what's next it you know no matter what uh your role is you you may be having some questions about like hey you know what what should the next step on my journey look like well that's what we're going to go over so let's first uh, dive into what we learned so let's take a very quick uh trip down memory lane to recap what we've learned First, uh, we looked at the uses of mathematical optimization, you know, the industries, uh, the business problems, um, things like that. Uh, we then uh, also compared uh, mathematical optimization and machine learning. You know, what are the different questions that they answer? Why are MIPS very hard to solve? Uh, we defined the building blocks of a mathematical optimization problem. What's a decision variable? What are constraints? What's an objective function? And we would translate a decision problem into a mathematical formulation using those blocks and then coded that up in Groby Pi and solved. After that, we expanded our knowledge on mathematical optimization using a more in-depth example. And then we capped it all off with a real use, uh, real use case, real world use case. So thanks again, Hassan, for that great, uh, that great uh, example. And along the way, we went over ex exercises to make sure that we were picking up uh, all the key bits, bits of information. So now you might be thinking, yep, this was great. What's next for me? So to help answer everyone's individual, you know, what's next for me in mathematical optimization, uh, I think a great first step for pretty much anybody would be to head to our website and to check out more of our resources. Uh, no matter what your role is, if it's uh, you know data scientist, you know if you're a practitioner or data analyst, you know it's someone who's who's working through the problems in coding. Um, or if you're a team lead or, or you know, uh, a director level or CTO, um, we have a lot of information and, and examples that can be useful to you. Same thing for uh, professors and researchers uh, and the academic side. So I'm just going to highlight a few of the um, more interesting uh, things that I think everyone should check out. Uh, one is our uh, set of case studies and uh, solution sheets. Um, our case studies are uh, customer stories that, that we're able to share that show how people use Groby and what industries they are. They, like, these are real problems that people are using Groby to solve. Um, and also for our solution sheets are um, a, a little bit broader. Um, they talk about how, you know, for example, Groby and optimization modeling uh, and mathematical optimization can be used in, uh, for example, uh, you know, the financial sector. Uh, after that, we have application demos, um, and these are sort of visual web-based tools that can that sort of just display the type of problems that mathematical optimization can solve. Um, these are some of these problems are a little bit more "quote unquote" traditional operations research problems, but they they definitely still have a lot to uh, a lot to show. Um, and you, if you're looking at the little picture that popped up, you may be thinking, "I think I know what that is." Um, one of our application demos is the traveling salesman problem, which is, which is a very common uh, and very well-known um, OR problem, operations research problem. And you can check out that demo and a bunch of other ones as well. After that, uh, you know, we were working in Jupyter Notebooks for a, pretty much the whole time here, uh, particularly for the hands-on parts. We have a lot of other examples, and a bunch of them are to, are, are geared towards data scientists. They have a machine learning component at the beginning, um, and and feed that into an optimization model. And we also have examples uh, like I talked about um, at the beginning, where we use optimization, mathematical optimization, as as the the framework for a machine learning problem. So definitely check out all of those notebooks. You know, again, they have bit, we have beginner, intermediate, and advanced examples. So no matter where you are um, in that skill set, there'll be something that's interesting for you. And then uh, lastly, um, for the things I would just like to highlight, again, there's a lot more out there. Uh, learning videos and guides. We have a lot of cool videos 
that um, again start you know with some introductory concepts and and then also have a lot of videos that are uh, uh, more advanced and that highlight specific Groby features or ways to improve your model. Um, we, all, we do have a bunch of uh, learning guides, setting uh, setup guides, uh, a lot of our documentation a, 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 as well. So there's a lot of uh, a, a lot more um, information out there that we have on our website. That you know, no matter what uh, what type of information you're looking for, if it's application or if it's more examples or if it's how do I you know uh, do more fancy things in Groby, we have you covered. But uh, there is one thing that I want to highlight uh, as a particular uh, um, tool that we have that is really awesome. And this is our burrito optimization game. Ta-da! Uh, so I highly encourage everyone to go to burritooptimizationgame.com. Uh, if you don't already have a, a Groby login, you have to set one up. But um, it is a game that we created to help uh, to help people understand mathematical optimization, communicate what it does, communicate the difficulty of it. Um, it is a great uh, uh, learning tool if you want to learn, and it's a great teaching tool. So if you want to communicate this to others. So uh, let's dive into the game. So here's the premise of the burrito optimization game. Uh, we run a business called Grobel, and uh, We've just set up business in a town called Burritoville. Uh, our company needs our help to plan uh, where to place burrito trucks to her to serve hungry customers. So essentially, how you play your game, uh, how do you play this game? Uh, first, we want to understand what our goal is. Our goal is to maximize daily profits, and our profits are are uh, defined on at at the bottom as uh, the profit is our revenue. So what we bring in from selling burritos minus the cost of ingredients, minus the cost of putting trucks uh, out there. So uh, we can figure out what our profit is gonna be by uh, dragging a burrito truck onto the map to see how it meets the customer demand. So uh, you play, take a, a truck, plop it on the map, and you can see that, you can see how much, uh, how many customers from each building your, your uh, you're serving and how much of that demand you're getting. Uh, every truck has a cost. So every time you put a truck on in this particular scenario and it'll change per scenario, it costs you 250, um, what we call grow bucks. Um, and the profit that you get depends on how close it is to potential customers. They'll only be able to, they'll only be willing to walk a certain distance to, to get your burritos. So you wanna make sure that you're setting up uh, your trucks in a in such a location that you're uh, getting as much of the demand as possible, but at the same time, like I said, each truck uh, incurs a cost, so you can't just be throwing out trucks everywhere, or you're going to be losing money. So then, once you've figured out the you know uh, what you think is the optimal state, you've picked the number of trucks that you think is optimal, and you put them in the places that will maximize your profit. Uh, you click done. And what will happen is your solution is recorded. Your uh, and then Groby on the on the back end will solve the problem and find the optimal profit and compare the two solutions. So you can see how close you were to an optimal placement. And this is a, again a great teaching tool, a great learning tool, um, a great way to communicate um, a couple of things. One is that uh, you know the types of problems that mathematical optimization can solve. And how, you know, even for simple cases, very simple problems that or problems that seem very simple on the surface, that uh, our eyes, our intuition, our gut, not really great ways to, to make some decisions. Um, so uh, as you progress through the, you know, through this game, these scenarios get very, very difficult. And you're going to, you'll end up, uh, I've ended up with negative profits and not any way out of there. <laughs> um, so uh, I highly encourage everyone to, to um, spend some time in this game and use it as a way to communicate to, you know, your leadership. If you're, you know, a practitioner or if you are part of, the, of a data science leadership team to, to your, uh, to your data science folks. And uh, um, if you're a professor, a teacher, um, you can use this as a way to uh, teach to your students, you know, the complexity of mathematical optimization, the power of it, and and uh, you know why solvers are important in this. So uh, again, great tool to to learn, but there's also other ways that we uh, at Garobi are are um, 
uh, getting people to learn more about mathematical optimization. So the next way that you can learn more about mathematical optimization is through uh, Groby Academy. I and mean, this is a uh, learn at your own pace um, on demand uh, offering that we have through our learning platform where you can learn more about mathematical optimization and mathematical modeling, um, as well as anything you want to know about Groby, uh, the product. Right now we have two learning paths that are uh, available. One is what we call from zero to hero, and it's pretty similar to what we've talked, the stuff that we went through um, in, uh, in in this training, where you start with, you know, uh, you know so it, we're, this is geared for someone who has little to no experience in, in mathematical optimization in Groby, but um, by the end, you'll, you know, be able to learn all the important parts uh, of, of optimization modeling and be able to, again, uh, look at some interesting case studies and solve some, some pretty cool um, applications. Uh, the next uh, learning path is what we call Garobi product training. And this is designed for people who'd like to understand what Garobi is all about. Um, at its core, you know, this is our Groby optimizer, You're talking about that, what it is. Um, but however, we have a number of other products and services that make uh, Groby a very unique company and make us uh, just uh, a really cool company to work with. And if you're looking for training that is more hands-on, uh, more uh, de uh, uh, developed for for your particular needs, then uh, Groby Compass is the could be the right uh, um, option for you. It is expert-led uh, training and workshops where you know where we take the time to develop uh, essentially. Um, uh, several modules that are tailored to what you want to what you want to dive into, be it you know integration and deployment, better modeling, uh, performance and tuning, or you know anything that you're looking for to help you get the most out of Garobi. So the last thing that I'd like to talk about is what we're doing um, in Garobi for data scientists um, by uh, from a product perspective, and by highlighting um, three uh, GitHub repositories that um, are already available or will be available shortly uh, to help sort of, uh, you know, data scientists pick up mathematical optimization or extend their capabilities. First is uh, mach uh, Groby Machine Learning. And this, uh, this package provides a way for you to add a trained machine learning model um, from scikit-learn, uh, Keras or PyTorch as a MIP constraint. So um, for example, if you wanted to understand the relationship between price and other things that you can decide and what how that influences the amount of a product that you'd sell, you can uh, build a machine learning or deep learning model that uh, that comes up with that relationship and then embed that directly into a larger uh, mixture of your programming model to help you understand uh, and solve the sort of the larger decision problem that comes from understanding that relationship. A great way to extend uh, machine learning, deep learning, uh, with mathematical optimization. Next is Groby Pi Pandas, and this is a package that helps um, you uh, essentially uh, build Groby models, uh, uh, build models in Groby Pi that are uh, build them in a way that's a little bit more uh, pand uh, has a more intuition um, for pandas users. Something that f would feel a little bit more natural if you use pandas day in and day out. Um, this will make building uh, models in Groby Pi just a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. And then the last thing that I'd like to hit on here is uh, Groby Pi, what we call Optimods. Um, and the name may change. Um, and this is something that's coming uh, early in uh, next year. And this is a collection of sort of ready to be used functions for specific optimization problems. Um, so maybe some things that uh, are traditional OR problems or thing maybe in machine learning, um, data science, you know, classic OR, graph problems, things like that. Um, and what's really cool here is that Yes, you can just supply the data and run it and just sort of hit go and it'll it'll solve a, an optimization model in the back. It's kind of like the burrito game in, in a sense, but um, you can definitely check out the code uh, on the back end to help you learn more about those models, learn more about optimization modeling and how it's working actually. So it's not just a black box. I just wanna thank you all one more time, sincerely for spending the last couple days uh, with myself, Asan, uh, Lindsay, and everyone else uh, that was helping out with this uh, with this training, um, we hope that you really got a lot out of it, and that you're uh, 
at least your your intrigue is peaked and you're going to continue down uh, the mathematical optimization road. Um, feel free to keep uh, looking at the resources I pointed out earlier. And if you have more questions, uh, just reach out to me. Uh, my email address is on the slide now, yurchison at garobi.com. And I'll be more than glad to, to help you out. All right. Again, thank you so much and uh, have a great rest of your day.